Hey everyone, how are you? It's Brenda with Wreaths by Busy Bees Custom Creations. How's everyone doing tonight? Hope everyone is well. I'm gonna get this up and going. It's Wednesday night. I know I'm not usually on Wednesday night, but since I um, am setting up for my craft show, Tomorrow night, I wanted to get on here um, with you guys tonight. So welcome. Okay, let me get my chat up and going. So how is everyone doing tonight? I know it's weird being on here on a Wednesday, but hey, Joy, how are you? I'm trying to find myself. There we are. Okay, now I can see the comments. Oops. Let me turn that down. And I turned it off. Oh my goodness. Crazy. Okay, there we go. Okay, let me turn that down all the way. That's muted. That's muted. That's muted. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, hey, Darlene. They're doing well. Thank you. Hey, Fern. Hey, Sue. How's it going? Let me pull it up here. I think we're good. So we're going to be making a sign tonight from um, Jackie from the um, Crazy Chicken Lady. So I'm going to pin that comment. So um, if you would like information about the sign, isn't this cute? The gold and the teal. Um, now she made me one of these which I love, which I'm going to do Tuesday night, which by the way, Tuesday night, I'm going to be live. I'm going to be a guest wreath maker on hardworking mom. So join me there Tuesday night um, at 8 PM um, central standard time. So she made me this one. I'm going to make this one Tuesday night on Lori's page, but I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So <clears throat> 19. Oh, Hey Jan. Thank you. 19. Girl, where are you? Where do you live, Darlene? You have to live like my sister's out in Minnesota. I know she said the um, roads were really slippery today because they had ice or something. It's crazy. Crazy. Hey, Sandy from Minnesota. Um, what, what I'm trying to think of the name of the city my, my sister lives in. Oh, Shakopee. My sister lives in Shakopee. Shakopee, Minnesota. <laughs> I don't know how she stands it to be honest. Oh, you're in upstate New York? Wow. Because it is cold. It's cold. They already got snow. So, hey, Kim. Hey, Shirley. What are they made of? The signs? They're made of wood. Yeah, it's a wood sign. Yep. I know. Isn't it pretty? And I'm sure that she can um, personalize it to any colors you want. So, like I said, I asked her to match a ribbon that I wanted to make. And um, that's the black and the white and the red. So I'm going to do that Tuesday night on, um, like I said, hardworking mom at 8 PM. So I know, right? Um, so tonight we're going to be doing ruffles with this pretty teal. Isn't that pretty? So it matches the sign. Look at that. It matches it perfectly. Oh, I can't even think of snow yet. I don't want to think of snow yet. Um, so if you don't already receive my, um, alerts, type live in the comments and you will get um, an alert uh, message back. You have to respond to the message. Um, also, if you want to get information about my group to join my group, which I just started, I'm so excited about. It is $14.99 a month and um, we will be doing all kinds of things. We had a great, hey Sue, hey Deborah. We had a, um, our first Zoom call last night, a kind of get together and get to know each other um, Zoom call. And that was a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to it. And I did a live in there this afternoon. So it's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to it. So type group. If you want information about the group, type live. If you want alerts. And like I said, I pinned um, the information for Jackie signs and for the mesh roller and for my group so if you want anything let me know oh thank you hey marlene how are you hey mary so hopefully you know it'll work out 
So I cut them to 30 inches. This is 10 inch mesh. I cut it to 30 inches and I'm doing the 30 inch ruffle. So yeah, today in our group, we made um, a ribbon angel, some ribbon flowers and a candy cane. Hey Renee, hi Veronica, how are you? So we'd love to have you. It's never too late to join. And, you know, we're going to start pretty much like at the beginning of wreath making. I already went over the tools and we're also going to, next live I'm going to do, we're going to go over the um, different types of wreath bases, the different meshes, that kind of stuff. So whether you're a beginner or, you know, all the way up, there'll be something for you in there. Hey, Tracy, how are you? Isn't that mesh pretty? I bought this mesh a while ago. And it's funny how it works out because I was like, oh, that's really pretty. And I didn't know what I was going to use it on because it's a, a different color. You know, you can use it on like the, um, what's it called? The wreath. Um, I can't think of the name of it. Peacocks. And I thought I would make a wreath, you know, with that, with this, using that. But I was like, no, nope. when this came in, I was like, that's what I'm using it for. How's it going? So I'm just, man, my, my, hey Kim, how are you? I know, isn't it pretty? I really like this color. <clears throat> so we're going to have fun with it. Yeah, it's a really pretty color, you know, and it's a greenish, you know, blue. And um, I think it just goes perfectly with the sign. And like I said, Jackie can customize any um, color you want. Like I said, I asked her to match a ribbon that I got, and that's how she came up with um, with the black, white, and red. Um, Kathy, we are Tuesday nights is going to be like kind of our group night, and um, but we're going to you know pop in other times too as well. And if you miss the group night, you know, it's always videotaped and you can always go back and watch it, you know, later. But it's Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hey, Cindy, how are you? No sound? Darlene, try going out and coming back in. So for right now, the standard night is going to be Tuesday night. And, you know, sometimes we'll do like Zoom calls like we did last night. Other times we'll do lives. So, I don't know, it's just going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Is anybody else having problems with the sound? I know sometimes if you go back, go out and come back in, it'll work. So, again, this is just um, 10 inch mesh that I cut to 30 inches and then we're doing the ruffle method. Hey Donna, how are you? And then what I do is I kind of tuck the ends under so that you don't get a rough edge. Hey Joy, you're not having issues, Joy? Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes um, you just have to go out and come back in. Hey Diane. Hey Maria, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes people's internet, sometimes it's Facebook. Who knows? I don't know. So, isn't that pretty though? Oh, I'm loving it. Love it, love it, love it. Hey, from California. How are you? Is it nice and warm in California? Oh, good, Joy. Again, this is just 10 inch mesh that we're ruffling. It was cut to 30 inches. It's blurry. Yeah, see, on my end, everything's fine. So I don't know. And I have it up on my phone, my computer. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Judy. Hey, Renee. Hey, Nancy. First time here. Welcome. Glad you found me. Glad you're here. If you guys could share this to your friends and family, I would much appreciate it. Oh, no. I know. Facebook. You know, isn't that, yeah, doesn't that drive you crazy? Oh, good, Marlene. Yeah, Facebook, like, you have to log in, log, I don't know what's going on lately. Like, you constantly have to log in and log out. That drives me nuts. 
I have not done a Victorian um, themed wreath, Donna. Oh, not warm wood. <laughs> hey, Tammy. I know I haven't seen you here in a while, Tammy. Welcome. I'm glad you're back. So um, for you new people, if you do not, hey, Brandy, if you do not get my alerts, you can just type live in the comments and then answer the questions that come after that. And then you'll be, um, and then you'll be um, subscribed to my bot and then you'll get messages each time I go live. Um, Maria, it's a teal. Yeah, it's a teal mesh. It came from um, a softball wreath. Oh, okay. Yep, I can do that. I've done a baseball wreath in the past, but I can definitely do a softball wreath. Hey, Izzy, welcome. Yep, so if you don't already get live alerts, just type in live. Also, hey, Luann, how's it going? Also, I just started a group, so if you guys are in interested in that, type group in the comments. I know, don't you love it, Marianne? Hey, Peggy, how are you? So this is 10 inch mesh, cut to 30 inches, and then I'm just doing a ruffle method. Hey, Judy, how are you? Hey, Maria. And I always tuck the edges under just so you don't get um, like a rough edge sticking out. I am making, hey, Tammy, I'm making a um, Christmas ornament wreath that I got from the crazy chicken lady. So we're using this sign. Um, Nancy, I pinned the comment, so you should see it on the bottom of your screen um, where the sign comes from. But if you can't find it, let me know and um, I can send it again. Oh, you, did you do well, Luann? Oh, thanks, Darlene. Yep, I'm making a Christmas ornament wreath. So what I do, hey, Michelle, how are you? Is I take that edge and I just fold it under. Just a little bit, just so you don't get that. Um, oh, thanks, Michelle, I appreciate that. Just so you don't get like the rough edge sticking out. And then you just kind of want to try to stay in the middle somewhat, which isn't always easy. Yeah, um, further down, it's the mesh roller, the link to my group, and the um, sign. But I will repost it um, in just a second. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Janet. I cut 18. Oh, that's good. Okay, let me get her um, link again. Okay, so there's the link to her um, Facebook page. And she just sells um, through Facebook right now. Okay, again, I'm just going to take it and fold it under a little bit. And then just do the ruffle method. Got it? Oh, good. You want to kind of try to stay straight with that as much as you can. Sometimes it does go a little wonky. Hey, Nicole. Oh, boy. Are you painting a lot? Hey, Miriam. That'll be fun. Doing a lot of painting, huh? Well, thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Yep, this is a teal color. I got this from Craft Outlet. Craftoutlet.com. Oh, she just bought a house. Oh boy, so now you're like gonna be end up painting the whole thing, right? <laughs> Mom to the rescue. Hey Miriam from Florida. Are you staying nice and warm down there? Hopefully you are. Well, thanks, Sandy. Yeah, isn't it pretty? It's a really pretty color. All right, just two more on the bottom here. Hey, Mary, how's it going? 
Mary is one of the members of my group, and so is Nicole. Um, yes, Jeannie, I am doing, no problem, Nicole. I'm doing the outer ring, or the third ring, and I'm doing the innermost ring. Oh, awesome, Luann. Nothing happened? You should, let me make sure my bot's working. I have been having so many problems with these stinking bots lately. All right, it says draft. Change post. Hold on, selected, next, next, next. Ah, that's why. To confirm, confirm, sorry about that. I keep forgetting to change it to um, active. All right, now it should work. Try it again. Hey, Ann. Oh, good. Yeah, try um, typing in live again. Now it should work. I swear I have been brain dead with these um, bots lately. I've been having more issues with them. <sighs> hey, Janet from Atlanta. How are you? Um, this is a 14-inch um, work frame from the Dollar Tree. I am making a teal and gold ornament wreath. And the sign is from... Um, Crazy Chicken Lady Custom Signs and Reese. And she can customize the color, anything like that. Thanks, Luann. Yeah, I really like this color. Yeah, hopefully it should work now, Izzy. Sorry, I, you know, I swear I'm brain dead with these bots lately. I have been having more trouble with them. Yeah, and sometimes it does take a minute, but you should get it now. Judy. It should fire off now because I did change it. Okay, so that is just that third row. Hey, Jackie, speaking of the signs, there's Jackie who makes the signs. So let me just make sure that this is firing now. Make sure, make sure, make sure. Should soon fire off. Okay, so now we're going to. Um, oh, yeah, you like that snow? We're going to make that actually. I have a class I'm going to do um, to make that snowman. So we're going to be doing that soon. I have to set that up. I'm just waiting for everyone. Hey, Nancy, how you been? To get their supplies. Hey, Reba from Alabama, how are you? Hey, Jerry Lynn. So again, this is just 10 inch mesh that I am ruffling. I cut it 30 inches. So I did the outside and now I'm going to do the inside. You can't find one. Um, maybe if you ask, because a lot of times they'll pack them away. And because I know when I was looking for them last year, I had to ask, like I went to a local like mom and pop um, um, hardware store and they had them packed away. So they had to go pull them out for me. So I would ask if um, they have any. You might, even, I mean, I don't know how much it is, but um, you might even be able to order one offline, you know, because I think they're pretty cheap. Yeah, they. you'd think they would have some. But, um, yeah, I bought a bunch last year and have them here. Piedmont, Alabama. Yeah, so that's what I did because I, I asked them because I didn't see any because, of course, you know, who's going to have tomato cages now? I know, right, Nancy? I don't know. It's just, we'll see how it goes. I think I'm kind of over craft shows. Yeah, Lowe's or Home Depot, definitely. I know I went online and looked on Lowe's and Home Depot, and I know they have them online. So maybe you could order it and, um, you know, ship have them ship it to the store. Yeah, for those of you who are local, I'm going to be at the St. Sophia craft show in Norristown. 
it is um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday and Saturday are 11 to 8, and Sunday is 12 to 6. Oh, hold on. Let me see if I can see the rest of your comment. I got the mesh from Craft Outlet. Yeah, I have the um, paper back here if you want the numbers. Yep, it came from Craft Outlet. So I'm just putting one ruffle in each of the pipe cleaners. And then just I'm going to spread it out. Cut. Yeah, right? I, I wouldn't have either, but the sign she sent me had gold and teal, and I was like, I don't have any teal ribbon. I'm like, I don't have any teal ribbon. I'm like, what am I going to do with this? I'm like, hmm. All right, I have to think outside the box. So I had the teal mesh. Um, I take usually between 40 and 60 wreaths. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that they are. Yeah, the Greek, yep, Nancy, the Greek Orthodox Church, yep. St. Sophia. They have this three, you know, full three-day thing where they serve food all the time. Yep, it's right there um, in Norristown. It's not far from, like, the where the Walmart is down there. So... Yep, so stop on down and see me. And if you come on down and buy a wreath from me, you'll get, if you mention that you saw this on Facebook, I'll give you 10% off. So stop over, pick up a wreath, say you saw me on Facebook, and I will give you 10% off any wreath or wreaths that you buy. Thanks, Cindy. I know, isn't it pretty? It's really pretty. And depending on how you look at it, you know, sometimes it looks more blue, sometimes it looks more green, so it's really pretty. If you could share this video, I would appreciate it. Um, Cindy, when you do the 30-inch ruffles, it will take about a roll and a half. Now, if you do 20-inch um, ruffles, you could probably get away with just one. Yes, I saw that, Charlotte. I posted it the other day. Yes, Nancy, um, Craft Outlet. Yeah, I take all different, um, you know, from $25 on the, all the way up to $75, $80. So it really just depends on the crowd. You know, you don't know. Last year I did okay there. That's why I signed up again this year. Um, we'll see how this goes. But honestly, I think I'm done with craft shows after this year. They're just so much work, and they, you just never know. I mean, sometimes you do good, and other times it's a bust. So, I don't know. Um, Sue, so I put them in a big um, bag that I got. I think I got it from Land's End, not Land's End, um, Lakeside or something like that. And it's supposed to be, like, for outdoor furniture. And what I do is I lay my wreaths down. And then I put like um, a sheet over it and then lay another layer and then put a sheet over it and put another layer. And that helps, um, you know, so they don't stick together. And I just put them in those bags and they're really easy to transport. So, okay, that's the wreath. Isn't that pretty? Ooh. All right, so um, here's the paperwork or the... Um, the skew for that. It's item number RE130160. Let me see if you guys can see that. Can you see that? That's for the mesh. So that is for the mesh. So now, okay, so we have this sign, right? Let's see what I'm going to do with it. So I cut some, um, thank you, Angie. So I cut some ribbons. Like I said, I wasn't sure what I'm going to do. So I found this ribbon. What do you guys think? It has the teal, kind of a teal color in there. 
to match the ribbon or to match the um that. So that's the one. Oh. See when that happens. It's no problem, Darlene. Okay, so we have that one. I'm not sure which of these I'm going to do. I have this one. And I have this one. And I have this one. So those are the four. I don't think I'm going to use all four, but um, so what do you guys think? This one matches, right? Isn't that, isn't that perfect? I think what I may do is use these three and let's see how it goes. I'm not really loving that one. After I cut it and then I saw this other one, I'm like, look, because it has the kind of diamond pattern on it. So let's see how it looks. Let's see. We'll see. Yeah, I like the one with the trees. I thought it was pretty. And I thought it went. Sure, can you see them? So I have this gold. And it's that reversible one. It's got silver on one side and reverse, you know, gold on the other side. That was from um, Costco. And then this one kind of has that diamond pattern. And this is kind of a sheer gold with dots. And then this one. The this one, um, let me see. Yeah, this one came, this one came from Costco. This one and the other one came from Sam's. And then um, this one. I'm not sure about this one. I usually do two to three tails in each. It just depends. I don't know. We'll try four, see how it looks. Oh, I know. Aren't they cute, Luann? You want to know. Yeah, I like the tree. All right, so let's put that aside and let's see what we like. Hey, Rose, how are you? No, I know. I'm not, I'm not crazy about the dots either, Mary, but I'm going to put it in and just see. See what happens. I don't know. We'll see. And I'm not, I don't know if I'm crazy about that gold either. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks, Jennifer. Oh, I'm glad you made it, Donna. Hey, Debbie. All right, so let's see. What do you think? Should I keep all four of them in? I'm not sure I'm loving it. Or should I do two and two? Let me try this. Let me try it. Let me try it. Let me try it. Let me see. So I'm going to do the trees with the, um, with that, with the diamond shape. Yeah, I think so too. I cut these to, um, 14 inches, Jeannie. Yeah. All right, so let me try this. I think I'm probably going to like this better. I don't know about that one. You know, sometimes you just have to... Yeah, I will hold it up. Yep, definitely. Yeah, I usually do two and two, to be honest. Um, that's what I do most of the time. I kind of alternate, you know, two of them. And then let me try this with the solid gold. Hey, Peggy, welcome. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm excited to make that. We just, I, like I said, I'm just waiting for everyone to get their, um, get their supplies. Okay. So, what do you guys think? Let me say. So, whoops. My ribbon's called on my mesh here. Okay. So we have the one with four right there. Then we have um, the two and two. So the trees with the diamonds and then the um, dots with the, I don't know if I'm liking those dots. Um, Sherry, it's a paid class. 
Um, and what you would do is you pay, it's $10 for the class, and then I would send you to the list for um, the class, and then we'll make it together. I'm kind of even thinking, I don't know, let's see. Hey, Patty, how are you? I'm almost liking the trees and everyone. The four together, two and two. See, that's what's great about wreath making. There's no rules in wreath making, so you can do whatever you want. Yeah, I don't, I'm not loving the four. Let me see the, these three together. Yeah, I, I think that um, I'm not loving that four together. So thank you for sharing. I really appreciate that. But let's see how this one looks together. If we want to do three or just the two. I don't know. That's why I cut all of them because I just wasn't sure. Oh, I'm sure you are, Patty. Yeah. Okay, so I think we're either going to do, we're not doing this one because I don't like that. Um, the class we're making, um, the snowman. That's a, um, a class we're going to do separately. Okay, so the dots are out. I'm not loving the dots. Yeah, I don't either. I don't either, Darlene. Yep, not loving them. But I'm kind of liking the three, to, the um, those three together. Um, the class, the snowman class is, um, we're going to do a Zoom call and we're going to make it together. So it's $10 for the class. And um, yeah, I know. I, I'm almost thinking that too, Diane. I was looking at that and I'm like, I don't even know if I like this goal, the that pattern. So I'm trying all three and see what we like better. Um, so yeah, the snowman class, you pay $10, you get the supply list, and then we are going to make the class live on a Zoom call. And it not it funny how sometimes you think something's going to work and then you look at it and you go, mm, no, not loving it. Hmm. I know. All right. I know. Isn't that pretty? A Zoom call is a like a video conferencing where I can see you, which normally I don't, I just see a little dot next to your name and, um, and you can see me. So I'm kind of, yeah, it's, it's just an app that you down for down, uh, download. And, um, if you're in my group, Patty, if you're in my group, you don't have to pay for the class. So um, if you want to do that, just look, I thought, I thought you were signed up for that. I can't remember. Um, so what do you think? Three? I think I'm almost liking the, the solid gold with it. I, I know. I think I'm really liking that together. I didn't think I would like it, but I think I'm liking that. Yeah, I'm not loving the light one either. I'm not either. But I thought it matched so well with the um, sign. But then, you know, once you get it on there, sometimes you change your mind. Uh, Note, Marlene, the um, snowman class is something separate. So um, um, we're going to do that. That's a separate class. No, that's just a like an online class I'm gonna I'm gonna offer. Thank you. Yeah, I like the solid gold. I think we're going with this. And that's just it. Sometimes you get stuff on here and you go, mm, nope, not gonna work. Hey Ernestine, how are you? 
just send me a message, Marlene, and um, I will send you the information. Yep, that's what we're going with. I like that. That's what we're doing. Yep, Judy, I agree. The solid gold in the trees. You know, it's funny because I love this tree ribbon. Um, but, um, you know, I was like, hmm, I don't know if I'm really going to use it. But I have used it. Um, Mary, I'm putting them in the... Um, <laughs> that's okay, Patty. No problem. <laughs> No problem. I hear you. Um, the um, oh, the ornament I got from the Crazy Chicken Lady Custom Signs and Reese. I have lots of those days anymore, Patty. Believe me. Okay. So what you do want to make sure of when you're doing ribbon with a pattern. Yes, I did, Peggy. Yep. Is you want to make sure that your ribbon is all facing the same way. So you see how the Christmas trees are pointing up on this side. So you want to make sure they all do. And with this ribbon, I think they pretty much will anyway, either way you put it, but you just kind of want to be aware of that. Yes. I like to make my own wreath forms. I don't know why I just do. I'm not a huge fan of the work forms. I like them. Um, the reason I think I like the, the box wreath frames better is a lot of people have screen doors. Oh, happy birthday, Sandy. And the, um, when you use the, the work wreath forms, it adds like two or three inches. Hey, Kathy, um, to the depth of it. So like where this is probably between five and six inches, when you use a work form, they're like seven to eight inches tall. So they can't always fit, you know, between a screen door. I know, you little world traveler, Kathy. Um, no problem. Tomorrow or this weekend, it is the St. Sophia Craft Show in Norristown, Pennsylvania. So it's a three-day, Friday and Saturday. It's from 11 to 8. And then um, Sunday, it's 12 to 6. Yeah, that's what's great about the Dollar Tree. They have the 14-inch forms. They have the um, candy cane forms. They have the heart-shaped forms, you know, around um, Valentine's Day. So I stock up on them. Whoop. Hey, Margaret, how are you? Um, Jeannie, I use, when I do my wreath form... I put six on the top. Uh, now, I don't usually go to Bucks County, KN. Sorry. Um, I put six on the top on the very inner ring. And then on the third ring, I do um, 12. I do... Um, where do you find what, Patricia? Um, I do 12. But I only do the um, streamers, the ribbon tails, in six of them. Because the half pipe cleaners, like there's a full here and a half here. If I um, put one here, I think it just crowds it too much. So. Oh, Chicken Lady? Yeah, um, there she... Jackie, post the link to your page. Remember how I showed you how to do that? So her, um, oh, no problem, Jeannie. Okay. No problem at all. Oh, thanks, Kathy. Like I said, if you would share my page, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you don't get the live alerts, um, I put them on six of the inner rings. So 
type live and you will get my alerts. And if you want information about the group, type group. Hey, Judy, how are you? You know, it's funny because I did not think I was going to like this gold ribbon. I thought it was going to be too much, but I like this much better. <laughs> Isn't it funny how that happens sometimes? <laughs> oh, boy. Yes, Sue. Uh-huh. So what I do, I think I have a form made up. I'll show you. When I make my forms, what I do is, oh no. Oh, sure, Sarah. When I make my forms, let me show you real quick. Oh, I do have one made up actually. Let me see if I can get it. Let me see if I can get it out. Okay. So this is my form. So, oh, yay. So what I do, this is a 12 inch um, wreath form from the Dollar Tree. So you see these crossbars here? Can you see this? Kind of hard to tell with that, but there's a crossbar there. Okay, so it comes like this and there's a crossbar there. So there's six section. All right, so I put my pipe cleaners on each section right here on the inner ring okay and then on the third ring I put one in between these two crossbars so I put a full one here and a full one here and then I put a half one here now like I said I do that because I just so this is what it looks like so you have a full pipe, pipe cleaner here, a half pipe cleaner here, a full pipe cleaner here, full here, half here. So in each section like this, there is three full, one, two, three, and two half cleaners, half pipe cleaners. And I only put the ribbon tails in the full pipe cleaners because I think it gets too crowded if you put them in whoops sorry all of them this is the snowman don't you love him i'm kind of cutting his head off but yeah isn't he cute he's very cute i love it love it love it oh no hailing and wind and rain oh no jackie i'll be praying for you girl let's finish this up here Use full pipe cleaners, but use second and no. What I do is um, no problem, Sandy. What I do is I put a little little dab of glue there, so it kind of holds the um, pipe cleaners in place. Just a little one. Thanks, Patricia. Yes, yes, Ernestine. I have pipe cleaners on the very inner, which is the first row, and the third row. The um, the snowman is made with white deco mesh. Oops, ribbon's caught. You need an arc. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Cut that off. Ah, I hate when that, um, yes, it's a tomato cage. Yep. Yep. The tomato cage snowman. <clears throat> Whoop, I keep getting caught on stuff. <laughs> All these ribbons keep catching with my mesh holder. You guys, I, I love this mesh holder. 
Love it, love it, love it. Oh, thanks, Patricia. So I think I just have one more to go. one here <clears throat> yeah so that's why I don't put them in every one because I just think it just gets too crowded but that's just me I like a little mesh you know showing through okay so that's what it looks like isn't it pretty I love the gold and the colors in there turned out really nice all right, then let's add our sign and see if we want to add anything else. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So I already went ahead and put the um, pipe cleaners on the sign. Thank you. So what I try to do when I put my sign on is I try to attach it to one of at least one of the crossbars so the sign doesn't um, kind of slide back and forth. Hey, Victoria, how are you? <clears throat> oh, awesome. I don't put anything in there. In the ties without the ribbon, I don't put anything. Nope, I just leave them out. The, um, the Christmas tree is from Sam's. The gold is from Costco. Okay. And then you just want to kind of arrange that again. Yeah, the ties that don't have the ribbon in it, I only use half ties and I just kind of tuck them under so I don't have to worry about them. Thank you, Debbie, appreciate that. Okay, so I really like how that turned out. And I had some gold that I thought I was gonna put on it, but I think it's too much. I think it's nice just the way it is. I don't think we really need to add anything else. So then what I will do, since I'm not adding anything else into my pipe cleaners, is I take the pipe cleaners and I just kind of curl them in to kind of have a little decorative look. The ribbon is cut to 14 inches. Oh, thanks, Sandy. Yeah, I think it turned out really cute. The sign is from Crazy Chicken Lady Custom Signs and Wreaths. Thanks, Cindy. Yeah, I think it turned out really cute. Oh, good. I'm glad you guys like it. So, yeah, that's all I'm doing is now I'm just going and, um, yeah, right, right, Sue? A little bit different. Yeah, I like it, though. Thanks, Donna. Thanks, Sue. Like I said, I'm just curling these to kind of add a little, you know, decorative touch because you don't want them sticking straight out. Thanks you. Thank you, Darlene. Thanks, Peggy. So don't forget to share this with your friends. And like I said, if you want alerts, make sure you type in live. 
And make sure you answer the questions, because if you don't answer the questions, you won't be subscribed. And then if you want information on my group, just type in group. Thanks, Jeannie. Thanks, guys. So tomorrow night, once I get set up, I'll probably do a quick live um, kind of to show you guys my setup there. So I think we're done. You guys, I really like it. It turned out really cute. You know, it's not your typical red and white, um, you know, red, white, and green Christmas colors, but I think it turned out really nice. Yes, I have, Cindy. Yep. Yep, I definitely have. Okay, guys, that's it for today. How I, s oh yeah, yeah, like I said, I I won't send out a mini chat um, because I can't do that from my phone. Um, but I definitely, look for me probably between 7.30 and 8 o'clock, somewhere around there. Um so I will, you know, pop on live and show you guys my setup and that kind of stuff. All right, that's all. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys Monday night. But like I said, I will pop. I know I will pop on um, tomorrow night. So, yep, live in the hive. Here we are. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow night sometime on the live. Have a great weekend. Wish me luck. Pray that I sell lots of wreaths because I have lots to sell. All right. Have fun, guys. Thanks again for watching. Bye.